beautiful young women in these beautiful gowns with their red roses. It's really breathtaking. Since 1941, Fampan Hall Academy's graduating class has said goodbye carrying red roses in a white gown and gloves, a tradition much loved by alumni for over 75 years. It's very special. I definitely uh, made the school feel like it was different from all others. Seeing her graduate in the white gown means everything. But the class of 2015 is different. With the school's recent move toward building a STEM program and adopting Google Classroom, this year the grads will also wear a cap and gown, reflecting all their academic and personal achievements. Many of the girls see the white dresses as a rite of passage, as a, as a progression from being a girl to being a woman. And I think adding the cap and gown is also a rite of passage where now they've earned the right to wear academic attire and really feel and understand their academic achievement. 1968 was the only year that Fompon graduates didn't wear the white gown, a decision that was quickly overturned. But now, almost 50 years later, the girls are snapping selfies in their caps. I think it's really great to wear a cap and gown when you're graduating high school and especially college too. So I think the white dresses are beautiful, but I do think we need to have cap and gowns at some point. Today's graduates are not only beautiful women, but they're going on to be engineers, psychologists, and analysts, proving it isn't impossible to have it all. I think it's nice because it is different. Like we get to be kind of like other schools too. And it's nice for us because we get the best of both worlds. It represents what's so unique about Fompon, and that is the perfect blend between academic excellence, uh, as represented by the cap and gown, and time-honored tradition, which is the white dress and the red roses that the girls carry at graduation. There's a certain um, academic standard that has to be met in order to wear the cap and gown. And these women have surpassed those standards, receiving awards and scholarships to schools like NYIT, Fordham, Villanova, and Baruch. But even though they were dressed in cap and gown, the girls say it's not over yet. Though anyone can buy a white dress, not everyone can graduate from Fonfon. This is just a sense of tradition and like strength in women. Like my grandma graduated years ago and she still had the same white dress, the same red rose. So it's nice for her to see like us doing it so many years later. Well this is like very preparing me for graduation because it's not graduating exactly. But when I do graduate in the white dress because I know that's the big thing I've been looking for, that's when I'll get more emotional and realize that I'm done with high school. Reporting for Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.